Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Truly Bedrock Season 2. We're over at our little plot, and I need to do a little bit of resource gathering. I've already got quite a bit of dark oak wood stocked up in the, the storage chest, but we need to do a little bit more than that because we're going to be doing something pretty cool today. Let me tell you about our starter house. In the past seasons of various Minecraft series, whether it be a single player thing or a multiplayer thing, I've had a variety of types of starter houses, but there's one thing that I've never thought to do before, and we're going to build that in season two of Truly Bedrock. Okay, so we're going to go a little bit literal here. M my, my, my YouTuber name is Blue Jay, all right, which is a bird. And you'd think that by now I would have built a birdhouse. <laughs> but we have not done a birdhouse yet. So I did a little bit of Googling and looking at different birdhouse designs for Minecraft. And I found one that I really quite like. And we're not going to do an exact build for build kind of situation there. But we're going to take a little bit of inspiration from it. In addition to our birdhouse that we're going to be building today, I am hopeful that we're going to be getting an AFK fish farm up and running before the end of the episode, it's not a very massive project. They're pretty simple to build, but we just, we gotta have a place to put it. So the house is first priority. Then we're gonna get an AFK fish farm. And hopefully by the end of the episode, we'll have access to things such as mending books, fortune three, silk touch, unbreaking three, efficiency, all of those types of enchantments in book form so that we can get our tools and armor up to snuff because look at this look at this i've done a little bit more mining we've got six diamond blocks plus one extra diamond that should be enough to get us hopefully a full set of tools and armor uh if not we may need to do a little bit more mining but we'll at least have the essentials and uh, I hope to get full diamond gear by the end of this episode as well. So a lot on the table. We got a lot of work to do. So this season of Truly Bedrock brings along with it some new features and new challenges. I did not talk about them in episode zero uh, because there was already enough content in there that I didn't want to just like overpack it and get a, a 45 minute long episode out for you guys. It just it would have been too much. So we'll talk about some of that right now while we're building. The first thing that we'll talk about is the the little borders that you see here. I don't know that Killadrone has his up anymore because I think his goes from, from end to end. Uh, we have limited ourselves in our starter houses to a one chunk build. So this does not take up the entire chunk, but the house on top of the platform that we're going to be building is probably going to come out at least this far. Well, at most this far. We won't go any, any farther past the one chunk limit. We'll, we'll abide by the rules. <laughs> uh, but that's the challenge for everybody. Uh, so yeah, one chunk builds for our starter houses. That is the way to go for this season. And we're going to jump down here for just a second too to take a look at one more quick thing up here. Uh, yeah, they're still on the ground. We got these guys right here. These are uh, regular fish. This is salmon. There's a, a, a dolphin. I know a few of my viewers love dolphins. I'm sorry. <laughs> It wasn't me, it was Killadrone. Uh, but we have we have mob heads and player heads now in season two of Truly Bedrock. Thanks to Foxy for putting together a crazy cool data pack, mod pack, pack pack, whatever it's called, I have no idea. But he put something really cool together that we could get mob heads and player heads. Uh, player heads do not come by death, they come from wandering traders. So we're gonna have to carry diamonds with us at all times, just in case we find a wandering trader that's got one of our heads on it. I'm just taking a look at this and thinking about whether it's too big or not. Whether it's too big around. In order for this thing to look like halfway decent and like the it's not bigger than the platform itself up top, we may have to build it a little smaller. Hang on. Well, I don't have an elytra quite yet, so this might be a bad idea. But for science, okay, good, 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 good. good. We, we, we made the jump. <laughs> we made the jump. Oh, it's good to be on the coastline where we can safely land in the water. But if we hadn't, we do have another new feature on the server this season for season two. In our main uh, pause menu, we've got a death counter. And right now, Zloy is on the top of the list with 29. Oh my gosh, I've only got one so far. One official death. The, the, the ones that you saw in 
the, uh, the, the episode zero season opener in the nether. We're on a creative copy of the world. I don't even know if it was this world. It might have just been a random seed, but we were doing a little fun nether exploration competition kind of thing. And uh, those deaths did not translate over. So we only have one official death for the season so far. Oh boy, he's calling out the fact that I don't have any deaths yet, okay? Ah! We have a death counter on the server. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. He's coming after me. <laughs> he's coming after me. <laughs> no! There goes my first death. And I, I haven't decided if I want to be the, the least amount or the most amount. We'll have to see. That's looking pretty good. I mean, if you look at it from this angle, it looks totally taller than Killa's build. <laughs> it's it's t it's totally taller. Yeah, yeah. Um, so far so good. We are uh, 35 blocks in the air with our tree trunk, and I think we're gonna stop there for the moment and start working on some detailing on the outer layer. Uh, this is very very smooth, and we don't want that effect. We want it to be very rugged and broken up. So I'm gonna start working. All right, so far so good. We've got our log textured all up and we did end up using all but one stack and one piece of dark oak logs. We're running low, we're running low. So I've planted a bunch more trees around here. So hopefully we'll be able to grow them back pretty quickly and get some more supplies for this. In the meantime, we're gonna jump up to the top of the tower here and we're gonna start working on the support beams for this. So basically we're gonna go out uh, probably just two by two by two here. Well, not two by two, two wide, but we're gonna go out a pretty decent length because we want a little bit of a cross beam going in each direction away from the center of the tree. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, actually, I am sure how far out we can go. We can only go to here. Really? Ugh. <laughs> okay, well, we're limited to 16 by 16. So that is as far as we are allowed to go. And let me just kind of line it up again here. This is the block. That's the block right there. Uh, but it, it'll look a little bit uh, wider once we're looking at it from the ground, all four angles. But I did go ahead and put some cobblestone down there so we can see where we're supposed to stop. And I believe it's this guy right here. Uh, it's kind of small. It's kind of small, but we're going to do our best with it. All right. We're going to do our absolute best with it. Well. <laughs> that was highly unfortunate. Um, I was checking out my build and I destroyed my scaffolding to take a look and apparently Rogue Fox was standing up there. Had no idea. Now all of his stuff is on the ground. <laughs> uh, it looks like he got everything, I think. I hope. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Just a couple more stairs and we should be good. I think I'm gonna have to build out a little bit more. I'm out of scaffolding reach. It won't reach any further, so that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. We'll put one here and one here. And we're racking it up. We're racking it up. <laughs> uh, six, six deaths. That's what we're up to so far. Every last one of them, except for one time that Killadrone killed me. Every single one of them has been this project so far. We're off to a great start, let me tell you. Man, oh man, I can't wait till we get an elytra. We're gonna have to do that very soon. Urgh, very, very soon. Hey, that's not looking too bad. Honestly, I think once we get a house up here, if we have to do any trimming, it's not gonna be much. It's not gonna be much. It's looking pretty good. Overall, I'm really happy with it so far. Hope you guys like it too. 
that kind of gives you an idea of how big the house is going to be. That is uh, 16 blocks tall, I believe, where the crossbeam is up there. And uh, we're going to build an even taller roof, which is going to be really nice. I think that's going to be enough space for us. I may hold off, honestly, on the roof for the moment um, until I get the AFK fish farm in because I want to make sure there's enough room for that and some other things in the house. So Prowl and Killadrone and myself are in a little bit of a group called PB and K. If you don't know how that all got started, season one. I was working on a little bit of a concrete tower when both Prowl and Killadrone decided to come over and mess around with me a little bit. But I saw Prowl online today and decided to get a little payback. Hi, Prowl. Hey, Jay, you got a torch? Oh, I got a torch. I got a torch. I got it. I got it. Hi, it's Prowl. Too late. It's hurry, hurry, too hurry, late. hurry, 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 oh, <laughs> hurry. The water's already coming down, you idiot. Boom. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> dum dums. Get him. Stop. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Here, let me build this back up for you. <laughs> hey, but when he dies, put his stuff in a chest in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what this feels like. It's great to be on the other side of this. <laughs> hey, don't get worked up about that in the comment section. I see you typing right now. We're all friends having fun together. It's fine. Bit of a massive progress update for you guys. We've got uh, a couple of walls in place now. <laughs> oh, it's coming along nice. I'm really, really happy with the outcome so far. We've got uh, the beginnings of a little circular doorway that's going to stick out the side here that points toward spawn because, you know, birdhouse, circular doorway, maybe a little post hanging out the side where a bird can land. That's kind of the idea we're going for. Uh, we still got more walls to put in place, some windows, the roof. We got a decent amount of work left to do, but I wanted to give you guys a little progress update and show you something that we have already finished off camera. This is going to be a two-story house on the inside, and here is the main level, which we're not going to do any interior today. That's going to be in the next episode. We're mainly focused on the exterior and this guy right here. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. We've already built the AFK fish farm. Uh, kind of wanted to just build this off camera just because uh, it is Silent Whisperer's design. So I'll let him explain it to you in his own video. But uh, basically, you got a redstone torch that powers a piston. And when that piston moves out of the way while you're fishing, it puts a note block in place so it doesn't retract your fishing rod, that kind of scenario. So I, I can show you an example. So you just aim like right underneath this little line at the bottom on the piston, and then you're good to go. And then you just turn on your auto clicker and you start catching stuff. So as you can see, it works pretty well. And we've got one small basic double chest under here that things drop into. Uh, we're gonna expand this probably in the next episode. We're gonna get some interior work done, storage for the auto fishing farm. Um, and, you know, clean up the rest of the interior. But we've got exterior walls to work on, and we're gonna take our first official trip into the nether because we need to go grab some quartz. Now, I understand there have been quite a few people in here mining quartz um, in order to gain XP, so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to find any close by. Yep, there's some right there, and there's some right there. That's fine. That's fine. We don't have fortune on a pickaxe just yet, but we'll get what we can. I do wonder if people around here just like, the, if they don't look up or if they're just too lazy to get up here. I mean, there's so much quartz on the ceiling. This is easy pickings right here. <laughs> this is probably a good time to mention as well that while we're in here, you may notice, oh, hello there. Not so sure we want to go that direction. <laughs> Uh, you may notice that, uh, there's, there's nothing new in here. There's nothing new. We're not on the beta. We are not playing the nether update until it releases for everyone. So we are still in the same version of Minecraft as everybody else. No beta, no new nether features. Uh, when the new nether update does release, we are going to purge everything in here, reset the nether back to default. So hopefully we can get some good generations somewhere near our spawn point. Well, we got 63 pieces of nether quartz. I think that's going to do it for the moment. Let's head back out of here. We don't want to be 
you know, too risky for episode one. We want to be a little bit on the safe side, not trying to lose everything straight out the gate. Well, apparently 63 nether quartz only gives you eight quartz stairs. There's got to be something wrong with that math. Yeah, yeah, I know I said I was done in here, but I need a few more pieces. You see, I used up all of my quartz on those stairs and didn't even think about the fact that I might want to use slabs. So, we're back in here. Hopefully to stay alive. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> yeah. We're playing with fire, folks. We're playing with fire. And there we go. I'm pretty happy with that. It's rounded enough. So let's take a look down at the bottom and see how we feel about it. Yep. That's the one. Actually, I think we may put some slabs right there too, just to kind of round it off even more, but it's nearly there. Also something I just noticed that uh, we're doing in this build, but I am excusing it. I promised you guys we weren't gonna be building out of concrete. <laughs> Guess what this stuff is, all right? But it's concrete powder, different texture. We're not going to harden this, and this is not going to be the norm. And the majority of this build is made out of wood, so I'll allow it. So then what we can do is, you know, take a little post and put it out this direction like a, a real birdhouse would have, so a bird can land on it and then crawl on inside. This will actually be a really useful landing strip once we have a uh, an elytra and rockets. So hopefully that's going to be happening real soon. Well, this is an interesting predicament we've found ourselves in. Hey, buddy. Um, how do you like the house? I have an idea. Do we really not have any arrows yet? No. Thank you very, very, very much. Prowl, I'm just gonna say, I would like to see you do what I'm about to do early game. Oh no! <laughs> uh, oh. No! Practice. Practice. Practice! Where's he at? Creeper! Hello? Uh oh. This is becoming standard practice here. <laughs> Where did the creeper go? Creeper? Creeper? Surely he didn't just despawn. This is bedrock edition we're talking about. Well, oh well. Oh, there you are. Infinity for the win! <laughs> So now that we're a little sidetracked, I think we're going to go meet up with Killa for just a moment. I've been AFK fishing for a little while, and I have a little gift that I want to pass on to him. Hey, Blue Jay. What's up, man? Oh, you know, just, uh, I've been hanging out in my birdhouse for a little while, all right? I, I can see that. I built an AFK fish farm up there, all right? And I've been chilling over there for most of the day. All right, just letting uh -huh, the thing uh -huh. run, get, getting a bunch of stuff. Uh, I've got I've got something for you and for Prowl, and we'll, we'll wait on Prowl to get in here for the other thing. But uh, this double chest right here is is all for you, man. All of that it's is for, for you. Me. Yep, it's all for me. <gasps> That's a lot of saddles. That's a lot of saddles. I've heard how big of a fan you are of horses, and I know you want to do this whole thing with, like, riding horses around the server and make that kind of the way of travel, and so I want to enable that for you. I want to I want to get you some saddles, get your seed started so you can, you know, tame a bunch of horses and, and, and really equip the server. So those are all for you. Free gift. You don't have to owe me anything. Free gift. Unless you want... No, nothing. Uh, nothing. You don't, you don't have to owe me anything. Unless you want to owe me. If you want to owe me, then you can owe me, but... <laughs> no strings attached. It's all for you. Take it. It's all yours. Okay. All right. All right. We 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 we, we may work something out in the future. We <sighs> you may get a horse delivery or something like that. <sighs> okay. Okay. Free of charge, I'm obviously. That's Ooh. a lot of sound. Okay, I'm okay with that. So those are all for you. Take every single last one of them, and you can use them however you want. Enjoy. Thank you, Blue Jay. You're a hero. 
And there you have it. That's the completed build. Aside from a little bit of detailing that we're going to do in the next episode, we've got to do the interior. And then I think I'm going to drop some vines and some leaves around the base of this to brighten it up, give it a little bit more color. But that's all we're going to do for today on that build. The last thing I want to do in today's episode, because we said we would at the beginning of this video, we're going to go get ourselves a full set of diamond tools and armor, at least as much as we can get. And we've got our diamonds right here. Let's go ahead and craft some stuff up. All right, it's official. We have our first set of enchanted diamond armor and tools ready to go. We've got silk touch unbreaking three, efficiency three, not the best, but we can upgrade that as we go or get a replacement when we have it. We have fortune three, unbreaking three, efficiency four, and our mending sword. We got a, a mending book and we applied that to the sword because we are gonna do something here in just a few minutes. Uh, then we've got our fortune three axe. We've got our efficiency four shovel not the greatest once again something we'll have to upgrade And then we've got projectile protection four on our helmet and on our chest plate and on our leggings And we've got feather falling four and depth strider three on our boots Let's go ahead and take off the iron armor and equip our diamond armor and we are ready to go guys We are ready to go. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to the birdhouse for the moment We are headed off to do some off-camera work with kill a drone we're gonna go grab some gunpowder and some paper so that we can grab some of those rockets because in the very next episode we are going to go end busting with p b and k it's gonna be an amazing time hope you guys will join us for that video and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video hope you liked the build let me know what you enjoyed the most about this episode and we will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day